Monday, man. Lucky Lance, you're ready for more Ponza action. That's right. Go Blood Braid. That's right, Delatrius. I will be doing that. And sup, JP? Glad you're here. Sorry you can't stay for long, but you got way more important things to do than watch me. And I'll tell you that much right now. You go and take care of those way more important things. All right? For real. Anyways, guys, my name is Lance. More importantly, my screen name is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore. Uh, that is my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MGGO, and MGGA. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube, please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. It really helped me out. As you can tell, I enjoy playing Magic the Gathering most of the time. <laughs> and, uh, and when I play Magic the Gathering, I prefer to play Modern. And when I play Modern, I play one of five decks somewhat coherently. Those five decks are Jund, Boros, Burn, Humans, Grixis, Death Shadow. You see on your screen right now. Gruel Ponds in Midrange. Gruel Ponds in Midrange is my favorite. Yeah, come on, Blood Braid. <laughs> it's my favorite uh, deck. It's the deck that I think goes the most with my philosophy, mentality, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I just really like it, unless it's giving me top deck lands and top deck Utopia Sprawls. Uh, then I'm like, God damn it. But that's true for any deck. Um, I just grind through leagues endlessly without hope. Like, there's no end to this. It's just constant grinding. All right, dude, check. We got it right there. Right there. I'm ready. It's not time to open it yet. Let's take a look at the weather. That, that's what time it is now, part of the uh, part of the stream where we go uh, dew check or weather check as well. Uh, weather for Ravensdale. Conditions are rain with a temperature of 57 degrees. The wind is blowing from the west southwest at 7 miles per hour. And current humidity is 78%. Is actually now your catchphrase? What catchphrase? Oh, come on, Blood Braid? Yeah, I do say that a lot. I do, because I'm like, Blood Braid, help me. Uh, but yeah, it, it kind of has become my catch grade. It's kind of funny. It's funny I play Blood Braid in both this and Jun, so you get to hear it a lot. Um, so yeah, the storm just rolled in. I mean, it was a warm, sunny day, and then I was coming home from work. And I'm like, God damn, these some dark-ass clouds coming towards the mountains. And uh, yeah, I got windy, and all of a sudden they just showed up. It doesn't look like it's really raining too much, but what do I know? Uh Oh, yeah, you ass. I like yelling that once in a while. That's true. I do enjoy yelling that. You ass. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that, that is true. That needs to become like a, an emoji. Yeah, subscriber emoji. But I, I it took me forever. The emojis you guys have, which I have. If you're a subscriber, you got. Let me get them for you. We got. Oh, they changed this over here. They updated this. That's kind of cool. We got uh, my rage and we got the flood. So there you guys go. You guys can check them out. Um, but we are still at 147 followers on Twitch, 184 subscribers on YouTube. So shout out to all 147 followers on Twitch and shout out to all 185 subscribers on YouTube and a massive shout out to all seven Twitch subscribers I have. Those people give me real authentic cash, uh, you know, cause they just, they love me that much. And that means the world to me, uh. It's just, I never thought that people would actually pay to watch me play Magic questionably and mediocrely at best. I mean, at my very best gameplay, it's like, okay. You know, it's like, you no know, big brain plays. Like, my biggest brain play is the opponents at three, and I uh, bolt them for game. You got two cloth in the Glorybringer in the post day. How much does a cloth this now? I remember they were cheap, and then when pawns start to become hyped, like everyone started realizing how good Ponza was about a year ago. They really want to, oh, they're bent. I'm sorry to hear about that. Hopefully they weren't the showcase ones. Uh, all right, well, talk about Reed Duke about that. Reed Duke, I've watched Reed Duke play, and he doesn't say anything for like seven minutes straight. And you actually have to make sure your computer's not frozen. And then all of a sudden he like, like moves a little and you're like, oh, I guess he's, and, but he has like a thousand people watching me at a time because he's that good and he is that good. I'm sorry to hear about that, uh, JP. That, that really sucks. Uh, hopefully uh, you get a refund for that. All right, guys. So I am in this league. I am currently two and one. It's going to be a shorter stream today. I got to get off early to, um, to take, uh, to take a, uh, do stuff for work. So there's still $15. Wow. Uh, <laughs> weird. Uh, they gotta do stuff for work, so I gotta go up a little bit early. That's okay. I definitely will finish this league. There's only two left. And, uh, so hopefully I can finish this league, uh, 4-1. Uh, so let's see how that goes. I did see they are doing sneak preview releases 
for Modern Horizon, that's great, JP. I had to get a refund for a car recently too. It was pretty. It was not near mint, like the guy said. It was like he's like, oh, I grabbed, I grabbed a moderately played one, but he did ship me out the near mint one. I was like, what? I was looking at the Modern Horizon two spoilers that have so far come out. We have Diamond Lion. Diamond Lion is a 2-2 artifact creature cat where it has tap it, discard your hand, sacrifice Diamond Lion, add three mana of one, any one color, activate only as an instant. So like it's a Lion's Eye Diamond that's obviously worse than Lion's Eye Diamond, but still, we now know where the Lion's Eye Diamond comes from. I kind of like when they do shit like that. All right. Let's get in here. Mountain Dew, that's a mulligan. That is a horrible hand. Look at that hand. No, it's not nearly as good as Lion's Eye Diamond. I mean, that's not, it's not even close. Oh, uh, that's also mulligan. I'm going to five. Wow, I'm going to keep five at extreme desperation. I guess I'll go to four. Fuck it, I'll go to four. All right, we're keeping this. Uh, forest on bottom, beast on bottom. Ooze or bolt on bottom. Ooze or hand. I'm thinking ooze. I mean, ooze or bolt. If this is against Dredge, I'm going to regret this. Hopefully, you know, top deck like Season Pyromancer. That'd be pretty good. I should put Bolt on the bottom, you think? I like keeping Bolt just in case there's a ramp or something. You know, like a Birds or a Arbor Elf. I already am, JD. It's already just downhill from here. Looks like it might be Pawns of Mirror Match, which I am fucked if that's the case. No, he named White. All right, another land. Getting in there. All right. Yeah, it's probably Heliod. I have nothing for Heliod. I thought about putting Unravel the Aether, but I rarely ever get to play against Heliod. Elvish Visionary? What? Good lord, what is happening here? I guess we bolt that. That is a ramper. A mana dork. Yeah, JP, what's your question? Okay, that could get me back in the game. I'm going to get a, a basic forest here. Uh, simply because I like Bone Crusher Giant. Luca, I don't, I don't play Luca. I've never liked that. That's a gimmick. That's the ultimate gimmick build. The land. Okay, I didn't need that. Uh, I used to run four pillages, but then Bone Crusher Giant showed up, and I needed to make room. Um, I used to run you know Stone Rains in the main too, but then Red Six showed up. Uh, so many cards have shown up. No. <laughs> Acid Moss. It's okay. I still have double red here. It doesn't matter because I get, um, I get the Chandra, right? I mean, I draw the Arbor Elf. All right, plus, say no. Swing for one. Play other Arbor Elf. Oh, for the opponent? I have no idea, Delatorius. Yeah, Luca's a red. There was Luca Ponza there for a little while. I remember people playing it. Wow. This seems to be some sort of white-green Ponza. How interesting. Yeah, it looks to be white-green Ponza. Oh... 
Uh, I run two Bone Crushers. Some people run like four. I mean, yeah, we just keep plussing this thing. I mean, now we have Ultimate available. Uh, no, I don't need that. Do I just swing here? No, I need a block just in case because this thing's got Ultimate. Probably shouldn't have hit six there. Another Arbor Elf. What is happening here? <laughs> what am I playing against? All right, there's Bone Crusher Giant. So, sadly, I think I still, let's see here. I can go up to four, five mana. I can stomp the Hierarch. Right, I'm going to make double, this is crazy here. This is crazy. I'm going to do double red instead of making the ultimate. Double red. Stomp Noble Hierarch, then play Bone Crusher Giant. Okay, double red. Stomp. Oh, it used both fucking red? Oh my god. How do I make it so it doesn't use double red? Do I need to tap a forest? Is that what I need to do? See, that's an error that would never happen in real life. In real life, I'd say, make two red, use a red. It's an ephemerate deck. Great. So now Bone Crusher Giant just fucking goes away. God damn it. And now, now, uh, no, it has attack. Fuck. I had all the best intentions in the world, and I just get fucked. Like, what, what was I supposed to do there? Maybe tap a forest, and then maybe I could choose the man I wanted to use? Why did that happen? He ephemerates the fucking noble... I guess he had no other cards to choose from. Wow! Oh my god, no! <laughs> I'm gonna lose my... I'm gonna lose my, uh... Attack my... So I have to block here. This is horrible. This is straight up ass. I have to block here. Uh, maybe I should just keep plussing the thing and doing two damage. I don't know. All right. Uh, why Questing Beast? Uh, Questing Beast is a personal favorite of mine. Um, I really enjoy the Questing Beast. Uh, one, people never see it coming. It's relatively unblockable a lot of times. It has Death Touch, so it can take down any of the biggest creatures. It has Vigilance, which not enough people give enough credit to. And its ability to, to, to destroy Planeswalkers uh, while also dealing damage is incredible. It's just a great card. It has Haste. It means everything you want. Fuck! All right, we're still in this, though, believe it or not. <laughs> well, I guess I get some red mana here. Uh, I definitely need that Ephemerate. Now I'm going to be taking, what, four damage a turn at least? What is this jank I'm up against? What is this? This, is this Heliod? I refuse to believe this is Heliod. So I'm down to 9. I'll be back up to 11. Just need to stop drawing nothing. Give me something, deck. No! That's not what I want. Yes! I don't know what this guy's playing. What is this? Like, green, white, like, Ponza? I don't know. Like, what? Why? Deck, stop! 
I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die to this shit. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, so it's gonna do another four damage at least. I'll be up to five. I mean... Uh... Yes! <laughs> That's a pillage shark I've ever seen one. Alright, we just gotta hold on. Just gotta hold on here. So I'm down to five. I go back up to seven. I go down to four. Back up to six. He plays another Hierarch. I'm going for it. I don't want to draw another land. I want to get as many of these lands out as possible. Some Flicker deck, probably. It definitely had Ephemerate. Deck! Why? Why, deck? Why are you doing this to me? Stop it. Stop it, you ass. Uh, yeah, I gotta take the Visionary. I don't want somehow that coming back. All right, let's hope he doesn't find a damn uh, a, a, a apparition. I mean, I need help. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I win this horrible game. This ass game that I went down to four and never did anything. Oh my god. Ah. Good God. <laughs> That's something you don't see fucking Reed Duke put up with. I'll tell you that much. Reed, Reed only plays against like the most astute fucking intelligent players ever. And I've got to play against this crap and almost fucking die. Well, I, I tell your wife I apologize. Tell her it's all my fault. It's all this American guy's fault. Good lord. What was that? <laughs> I don't know how I've always found my way playing these horrible fucking games like that. Uh, definitely two blood moons are coming out. Probably all four. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take out all the blood moons, bring some grave hate in. Uh, everything else looks really good. I do kind of want to bring that graph diggers cage in, just in case they have a collective company. Uh, but we'll we'll just go with the relic. I mean, fuck it. Well, I, I hope you didn't. I want to get anyone killed here, JD. I, for real. What is this crap? I got hit by three acid moss. Or two at least. This is a much better hand. Opponent kept a hand of seven last game too. Yeah, I should be worried, but you know. You can't live life being so damn afraid. Alright. I mean all my cards are good against whatever this is, except for Blood Moon. All right, we got turn two questing beast. But I'll probably pillage here if I get the chance. Yeah, definitely pillaging here. Uh, I guess we'll get another forest. Kind of, this card kind of sucks. I mean, for me. It's fine for the opponent, obviously. No white mana for you. That's right. Pillage getting in there. I love Pillage. I don't know how people play without in this deck. It's so good. Alright. Sweet. Look at these lands! What the hell is going on? I keep fetching to get rid of them. Uh, yeah, we'll play with this. I know I could just have 
fetched here, but I want to. I need to start fetching for red here, so I don't want to be taking unnecessary damage. All right, let's see if questing beast can go all the way. Top wannabe players. I guess that's me. I wish I was good. I wish Reed Duke would pat me on the back and say I'm a worthy opponent. So it looks like, J.D., you got to see some jank here. This is just going to not work out for the opponent as far as I can tell. Uh, do I even want to bolt this visionary? I mean, I probably should. Just so he has even less mana, right? I mean, the hell with it. Let's do it. Let's get out of there. And it lets me get one more damage in. No, no, so, uh, uh, JP, I do not want more than one questing beast because it's a legendary. And, uh, that's the whole reason why it's a, that's why I only have the, that's why I only have one Ren, one Chandra, one questing beast. That way I don't have to, yeah! I just beat some crap. I got a Glorybringer coming. The Glorybringer's not legendary, that's why there's three. There would be four if I didn't love questing beast. I'm just gonna put this down as a G W question mark. I don't know what that was, but uh, thanks for the games, opponent. I guess. I mean, fuck, that was ridiculous. All right, guys, trying to go four one here. Uh, oh, four pillage. I mean, I'm not opposed to four pillage. I just, I really enjoy Bone Crusher Giant uh, because not only is it a 4-3 three on three man, those are pretty good stats for a 4-3. It deals two damage if someone has to bolt it or target it with a, a spell. And it also is able to take down Lurus. You know, that's where I first learned how good it was, was against Lurus. And it's also good against, you know, Stoneforge Mystic. It's just, it's just a great card. It's got removal. It's got a little bit of burn to it. It's got actually two forms of burn to it. And it's a 4 3, which is very respectable. Yeah, four Questing Beast. Oh, here's Doom Wake. He'll, he'll ruin my day. Uh, yes, I'd like to go first. And yeah, it's a great hand. Doom Wake was last seen playing Is It Blitz? All right, looks like I get to have uh, my uh, match against, uh, you know, Blue Red Prowess. Someone plays Fog, stops Fog too. Fog? What is Fog? Like, Fog? Like, the thing? Uh, I don't know about that, JD. I mean, Pillage is pretty amazing. I mean, it, it can just totally ruin opponents. But Questing Beast is also great. That's why it's legendary. I mean, have you seen how much text is on Questing Beast? It's got to be good. Yeah, is, is Doom Wake a streamer? I don't know. I've played against him many times. I'm hoping to do... Is he playing, like, what is this? What is this? Discard a land, Molten Vortex deals two damage to any target. Well, I guess my Arbor Elf's gonna die, but that's okay. Um, all right, I mean, he's three and one right now, so <laughs> he's doing all right. I'm gonna play uh, Clothis first instead of the Blood Moon. I don't even know if Blood Moon's gonna be good here. The Clothis looks like it's gonna be quite good. And then Blood Moon. This is what you live to see. That's right. Weird ass jank. He's playing Loam, probably. Yeah, he has to be playing Loam if he's got this. Discard of Land. He's probably got Ren and Sixes. So we definitely need to throw out Blood Moon as fast as we can. But I just wanted to get Clothis out because it looks like Clothis could be pretty good. Fire Lit Thicket. Yep, there's Ren. Okay. Uh, scavenging is also a good draw. Get a basic forest. And 
and Blood Moon. Turn my draw on in case I get Bolt. I do not. I get Stomping Ground instead. Uh, we will eat. Make a red. I can. Pl I want to keep the scavenging ooze, so I need to go. I just gotta find a land, I guess. Because if I play, what if I play ooze here? Play ooze. No, that's how I do it. I play ooze first. There we go. Duh. This still does not turn on Clothus. Glorybringer, sure. All right. Oh, there went ooze. Is he just going to keep using this Molten Vortex to kill every creature I put on the field? Maybe. It's another Season Pyromancer. Well, this will certainly turn on uh, Clothe this. So he's going to discard the land to get rid of my... Uh, my season power, which will also knock down the Clothis. So we're just going to go ahead and swing into the Renin Six. Oh, I'm pressing them. Attack Ren, attack player, attack player. He might have a shit ton of lands here, so I might have lose everything here. It could be land, land, land. So this could actually be bad. Oh, he's just got a bolt here? Okay. <laughs> yep. So he's down to 12. That's fine. It's kind of annoying to play against. Yeah. Hey, 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 Lion Rose, what you up to, man? Yeah, just pressure him as much as I can. You just don't want this Renin 6 to ultimate. That's the problem here. Granted, I can keep it somewhat under control with Clothis. But we just got to keep, uh, you know, doing this. I guess I'll do a green there. What the hell? Uh, I guess... I guess at this point we just go at the player. Oops, what's going on here? I didn't want that. Reset attacking creatures. Go at player. This is really interesting. It's just... Alright! <laughs> I mean, is Blood... It looks like Blood Moon's actually okay here. You'd be salty. I, I don't know what's going on. I played against two really random-ass fucking decks. So Cinder Vines comes in. I'd like that in, please. Yes. Uh, Pillage is out. Definitely Relic comes in. Blood Moon looked okay. I think I can take out one Blood Moon. And everything else looks fine. Um, I don't think I need anything else. I do want the Cinder Vines just to try and deal with that enchantment. So. I don't know why someone be salty when they're playing something like whatever this guy's playing. I, you know, Doom Wake, I thought, I'm sure he's great. I, is he a streamer? I don't know. Doesn't matter. But I've played Doom Wake many times. And I recognize his name because it looks like he's kind of a Doom fan. I was a Doom fan back in the 90s. I haven't played the new Dooms and I kind of regret it. Um, oh, that's good. Okay, I'm actually going to keep this. Because there's a shot here that can still be good. Whoa, 
control freak. Thank you kindly for the raid with 31. Thank you very much, man. You guys missed out on some extreme, excuse me, extreme jank last match. What did I even play against? Green, white, question mark. It was just straight up, like, just random stuff. Like, just straight up random, like, green, white, like, Ponza almost. I'm a little bit frightened here, but I am going to go, I think, since we know he's probably got four Ren and Six, I'm going to start with the Utopia Sprawl instead of the Arbor Elf. And then next turn, potentially play both Relic Regenitus and Arbor Elf is the plan. And hopefully draw a land. You know, uh, but it was extreme jank. This is some weird jank too. Yep, there's Ren and Six, so I'm glad I didn't play the Arbor Elf. Oh, God. Do red. Do this. All right, well, I have three mana. I just got to hope he doesn't have a pillage, right? <laughs> He's going for the basic plan here. How was the uh, Control Freak stream? Did you do good today? Was he playing Death Shadow? I saw you are on. I'm just always so busy. I get home from work, and I got to rush to get some chores done. I got to end the stream a little bit early. Don't worry, I still got an hour left. So you guys that just showed up from Control Freak, uh, I still got an hour. Uh, oh, fuck, I thought, that was, I thought that was pillage for a second. I really did. I was extremely concerned. I, I am still concerned here with this Renin 6. Uh, you always generally want to go Arbor Elf first because the way it works is you play Forest Elf and then if you have a Utopia Sprawl um, turn two, you play another land, say another forest, doesn't matter. Second forest, tap that forest, put sprawl on untapped forest, name red, tap it, make a green and a red, use Arbor Elf, untap that enchanted forest, tap it again, that's green and red, you have Blood Braid Elf on turn two. It's pretty devastating. Um, what on earth do I want to do here? I think I just seriously want to go like Season Pyromancer here, discarding maybe glory bringer and arbor elf i think that sounds good try and find another land here i do all right it doesn't end the game i mean a lot of times you just cascade into utopia sprawl and you're like oh fuck you know but man, if you cascade on turn two into like a, a Pillage or a Blood Moon or a Clothis, that's some intense shit. Get that out of there. So Blood Raid Elf will be coming next turn. It'll be the first time I played Blood Raid Elf today. Do not be a Pillage. I really can't handle that right now. All right, thanks for stopping by, JP. I'm glad you got to see that horrible jank. All right, here's a blood braid. Glad you got to see that. Uh, sorry for waking your wife up. Okay. Seismic Assault. That's a little bit better than the other enchantment he had. Swing in here. All right, I got my own blood raid coming. That's 
it's a combo piece. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't even need mana. It's just, yeah, it, it looks pretty rough here. So we need to get Blood Raid Elf to Cascade into probably Cinder Vines. So come on, Blood Braid. Let's do it. Blood Braid. Season Pyromancer. I guess we'll do that too. Toss away Season Pyro and a Stomping Ground. I want to keep Ooze here. It's a little bit rough, but we're going to do it. That Lightning Bolt. Oh, man, there's really no way to get through to the... Uh, the Renin Six here because he's going to have that Seismic Assault. It's way better than the other enchantment he had. Uh, but regardless, I think we make him. Make him have it, right? We know he's got a land in hand. What card is the enchantment? It's Seismic Assault. That is the name of the card. Seismic Assault. From Exodus. Really? Is he going to let this happen? No. See, no way in hell. Alright, I mean, this is pretty rough. I get a forest. Probably another blood raid. Yep. He's got the time spiral ones too. Wow, it missed. Oh no, it didn't hit seismic fucking assault. No! Questing Beast would be pretty good here. Or Glory Bringer. Oh my god, bolts. Yes! Okay. Bolt. Bolt. Ooze. Make him discard two lands here to kill this ooze. As long as you have another Ren and Six, that'd be pretty brutal. Ah, god damn it. Why do you have to have a lightning bolt? And a Tarmogoy. Fuck. Wow, he's going all out here. Well, that's what you need, you know? It's exactly what you need in this situation is a windswept heath. There's really nothing other I could have drawn better than that it was Windswept Heath. At least I can do some blocking with this Season Pyro tokens. Yes. Okay.
Yeah, I just got to... I think I got to block here and here because he got, probably has another land. Right, so he'll just kill this and then you can swing. That's 8, 12. I mean, I'm just so dead in so many ways. All right, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Good job, deck. Oh my god. I need more, I need my cinder vines, like straight up. Uh, well, there was still hope. I could still got a questing beast, and that could have done something. Uh, I mean, really, everything looks pretty good. Nothing looks terrible. I mean, I do need to bring that Blood Moon back in. Take out one Glory Bringer. Bring in Blood Moon. I guess that the Blood Moons will stop the fetch lands. Does that even fucking matter, though? I don't know. It's pretty weird. All right, trying to go 4-1 and one in this league. That Thar is a keeper. Hopefully Arbor Elf will live. That way to get Clothus on turn... Turn two. Yeah, both of those are streaming. Yeah, I, I have. I wonder what his thought process is here. You know, uh, I'm sure it's he's like I'm playing fucking jank, and this guy is playing. Uh, wow. All right, go go go. Playing straight up Ponza. Clothes is so strong here. Hopefully. Yeah, he cycles already. So we're going to have Blood Braid Elf on turn three regardless. Even if he kills Arbor Elf, I'll still be able to eat a land and make a mana. Yep, there's Renin Six. Yep, shoots it down. Devour that uh, Forgotten Cave. I will make red. I will play a forest in case I cascade into a uh, Blood Moon. Come on, Blood Braid! Season Pyro, I like that. Uh, psh, I guess I'll discard Mountain and Renin Six. Get Sprawl and Wooded Foothills. That's pretty fucking good. I played a land? Yeah, I did. I, I did play a land. All right, hit that Renin Six. Get it out of here. Need to leave. There we go. Both players have Renin Six in the grave. I have not seen a Firelit Thicket, like, literally since the card was printed. Like, what's the one that sees all the play? Uh, the black-green one. God damn it. Guess I'm eating that creature. And it looks like it's time to get a Stomping Ground. Time to put Utopia Sprawl on a forest and activate a Clothus. I think it's time to play my whole hand out here. Barring, he could have Anger of the Gods. I gotta realize that. He could have the Anger of the Gods. Uh, we definitely swing with Bloodbraid Elf and maybe. Uh, we, sw we swing with the Bloodbraid Elf and the Clothus. The thing here is he could have a Lightning Bolt too. But I, I, I'm just going to swing with these two. Just got to be aware of anger, oh gods. Yeah, here comes a bolt. Bolt in here. Bolt season pyromancer. Oh, yeah, he put an instant and a creature in. It's going to take four. Okay. This is all fine so far. Obviously, it was a bolt, but what I'm supposed to do, not swing the entire game? Bloodbraid. Fuck. Did Bloodbraid miss again? No, he got Seismic Assault. Okay. I'm 
So I do have the cinder vines to destroy that. I mean, he's got to find a way to gain life, I feel. Because Clothes is going to kind of steal this. And he swings here all block here and then probably let this just come through. Because I want to try and get Clothes back going and make him use a land. Um... Right? I actually need one, well, if our Ralph lives, I can do it. Because I need one more land here. Um, right, so we block here, let this Bloodbraid Elf come through. And then we eat Lightning Bolt. It's the only instant in there. Eat the Bolt. Play Blood Moon. Do Cinder Vines. Should be pretty decent. Barring he just discards three lands here. If he discards three lands, kills all three of my creatures, then I'm a little bit concerned. Devotion, the best I could get up with what I have left in my hand, plus that sprawl would be three, five, six. So I have to draw. Yeah, it takes down that. Yeah, Lily's he's just going to go after everything here. We obviously block here. Forest. Eat the lightning bolt. Play Blood Moon. Cinder Vines, Cinder Vines destroys, and go. I mean, I'm not out of the woods yet. This is seven damage coming across. I do have two Seasoned Pyros in the graveyard, though. So I need now I need to eat that Seismic Assault. that will shrink the Goyf back to a 3-4. Oh, no, I have Cinder Vines in the grave, too. Duh. Life from the Loam. I guess we'll eat that instead. That's a 5-6 now. This is a turn, two-turn clock. Again, I do have Season Pyros, so they can be some blockers for a little while. This is going to be close. Another Clothis. It's not what I fucking wanted to draw. God damn it. Oh, I need that. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, my wife just got home. That's why you might hear dogs. So he's got three lands, two lands at least in hand. He played one of them he picked up. Yeah. All right. Double block the blood braid. Would that be smart? Double block blood braid, you think? Well, if he bolts one, I take another four. That's down to six. All right, we'll try it. I'll do viewer suggestion here. This is going to be your fault, Lion Rose, if I lose this. Looks like it was a good play, Lion Rose. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that, man. <laughs> Unless I get double bolted here. All right, no double bolt. Good lord. Uh, yeah, we eat the seismic assault. Unless he has... No, he doesn't have Colligan's Command. No black mana. Alrighty. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> I 
hey man, you got to have your disclaimers. You got to say, this is what you wanted. Oh my God, they got to quote this. Oh no. Oh no. So if they swing through here, do I... <sighs> so here's the thing. If they swing with bolt, I can let them come through. I can let them come through. And then I, uh, I can swing back with my season pyro tokens and win off the clothes here. Just, this is an intense decision for the opponent here. This is an intense decision for me. It, obviously, I don't think, well, yeah, I mean, they just bolt me if they have bolt, obviously, but I don't think he has bolt. He would have bolted last time, right? He would have been able to save a Bloodbraid Elf. Because he didn't play Bloodbraid Elf last turn. He didn't even play anything. I doubt he's got bolt. If he is, he's really slow rolling this thing. So he's thinking right now, should I... He can't even attack with bull. He can pick one, I'll block it, and then I can try... Well, no. I won't block it. This is ridiculously intense. These clothes are just going to be stopping each other the entire time. I just need to find some action. How about a glory bringer, a lightning bolt, a bone crusher giant, a chandra, you know, questing beast, eh, maybe. Opponent is really thinking here. I don't blame him. If he swings with bolt, I feel like I win. All right, here we go. Let's see how many he wants to swing with. Only one. All right, so I think I want to block with for sure with one. No reason to double block. All right. Turn on the draw because I get bolt. It's ooze. That's really fucking strong. Uh, I'm going to eat my own cinder vines that way... Tarmogoyf is smaller. I do. I did stop the enemy Clothis for now. Yep, I can. This is the perfect anti Clothis card. I know because I play Clothis all the time and I hate seeing Scavenging Ooze against my Clothis. Oh my god, he did hold a bolt the entire time. That's absolutely insane. I have to eat again. <laughs> Alright, devour again. Oh, it's not gonna work. Fuck, I played this completely wrong. I played it completely wrong, guys. Yeah, you're right, Pontus. You are right. I'm an idiot. I'm deserved to lose this one. All right, it's got top deck bolt or something. Fuck. Yeah, I'm going to top deck Bolt. Well, I've only got Bolt. Uh, I got four of those left, I think. Yeah, four Bolts, two Stomps, four Glorybringers, a Chandra, even a Ren... No, I lost my Ren 6. I mean, we'll just see how things go here. Is he going to swing with Bolt again? No, just the Tarmogoyf. I 
I guess we block again. If I take it, though... If I take it, I top deck Blood Raid Elf or Questing Beast, I can still win. So I'll just take it. I'll take it. All right, come on, deck. Turn on draw again. Season Pyro, that's a few more chances here. Eat Lightning Bolt. Come on. Ah, Cindervise doesn't work, but it does turn on Clothis. Yeah! Oh my god! Woo! There we go. That red, green, question mark? I don't even know what that is. Folks, I almost tried to throw that away. I always do that. I have to make the games as challenging as possible, right? I have to do it. I have to make the game as difficult as possible. I have to. I cannot make it easy on myself. I have to be as terrible as a man can be playing this. And it's amazing my win-loss record with Ponza is so high with how bad I play sometimes. There was absolutely no reason for me to use Ooze's effect. I just was overconfident in the fact that he probably didn't have a bolt because why would he hold a bolt for that long? He must have held that bolt for multiple turns. Crazy. Uh, I don't believe so. I believe it has to actually be destroyed. And, and Clothis has indestructible. So I, I do not believe it will do the two damage. Um, I guess I could have tried. Maybe, you know, does anyone know? Because I don't know. I don't have a clue. Um, but pretty exciting game so far. Uh, weird shit. All right. I'll have to go back on his side and watch how the game went for him for old Doomwake. I like doing that. I like going back to the other streamer and seeing what went down. Silent Song. Great. He was last seen playing Electro Dominance. Yes, keep. Oh my god. This will be awesome. Questing Beast on turn two, hopefully. Let's see if Arbor will survive. Arbor will survive. Look at that. Only this is a blood braid out, but I'll take a questing beast on two. That always works out pretty good. Beast misses his trigger, of course, because there's no planeswalker. Yes, it is electro dominance still. Wow. You son of a bitch. All right, well, there's a top deck Blood Braid Elf, so let's get in here. Come on, Blood Braid! Pillage, hello. Uh, yeah, too bad I don't have, uh, whatchamacallit in right now. Cinder Vines, that's obviously coming in. All right, he gets Ancestral Vision there. The hits just keep on coming. I should not be playing more lands. That's stupid. Come on, Blood Braid! 
Lightning Bolt. Light him up. You know, force Negation or something here? Yes, Force Negation. All right. He is technically dead on board if both these Blood Braids make it, because I can hit him, ping him once for Ooze. I mean, with Ren and Six. With Ooze? That don't make any sense. Remember that Ooze thing from the Power Rangers movie, Ivan Ooze? I wonder if Scavenging Ooze is related. All right, what horrors wait me here? Crashing footfalls? Another as foretold. So I get to keep... Choose three lands. Well, I... Each player chooses a number of lands they control. Either the number of lands controlled by the opponent, and then sacrifices the rest. I want to make sure I do this right. Each player chooses a number of lands they control equal to the number, and sacrifices the rest. I guess I choose these. All right, I can get rid of my creatures. Uh. Ren and Six. I think we're good to ping here. Scavenging Ooze. He has three cards left in hand. This is going to be intense right here. God damn it. Yep, crashing footfalls. All right, just need a glory bringer here. Glory bringer is what I need. Clothes, that's not half bad either. Uh, yeah, hit the rent, hit them again. Play Clothis. Say go. Who's going to actually stop one of these? There's two cards left in hand. Greater Gargadon. What is this? Exile the top six cards of your library. You may cast into two sorcery spells with mana value, three or less among them without paying their mana cost. What? Slide of hand, flame slash, and crashing footfalls. He's gonna do slide of hand. Light a hand and like crashing footfalls. I mean, flame slash would be annoying here. I'd have to eat two things. I don't think you can do flame slash. Definitely the sleight of hand. It's good. He is going to do the flame slash. All right, let's do some eating here. continue to devour. All right, he has now four rhinos. So now I can't block. So now he needs to swing in probably at Renin six. It's got to find Glory Ringer, Lightning Bolt, or Stomp, or Chandra again, or we're just relying on me finding my burn spells that I can't seem to find. At me. 
Gargadon. Ten time counters. So he can go sacrifice these four. Sacrifice these four. It's eight. He still have two time counters on it. All right, I take it. I'll take the eight. Just need Bolt, Chandra, Glorybringer. You know, whatever. There's a lot of cards here that can do some stuff. On deck. Oh my god. Why? Why is it that? What the fuck? Elite Force Negation, I guess. It really doesn't make any sense to hit him for one, right? Unless they find a way to get rid of Clothis. Which even then doesn't make any sense. Right? I think we just plus again. I think we plus. Because two is the same as one here. Yeah, I'll pick up. It does, JD. I hate this as foretold. So he's top decking here. Greater Gargaron cannot... Well, he's going to have 9 on it, right? Yeah, he's going to go down to 9, then 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. He'll be one short unless he top decks a land, and then Gargaron can come out. All right, here we go. I want to keep as much green up as possible in case there's some sort of strange graveyard thing. God, I hope he doesn't have, like, Electro-Dominance or something. I mean, Restore Balance won't do enough. Because he has more creatures than me. I'd go down, what, two lands? It doesn't even matter that Renin Six. Uh, rhinos have saddles on them. <laughs> Remember that stupid commercial where they had like Motley Crue's like kickstart my heart and they were like it's this is a commercial for men and had like some dude riding a really poorly made CGI rhino it's like dude this is terrible Now I may almost die here because he might swing with all of these rhinos I'll block one for sure All right, to blocking. I'll be down to two here. Please don't have a lightning bolt. All right, Jesus. All right, Electro Dominance. Obviously, Cinder Vines comes in. That card's huge here. I'm not against having Boil in. Relic's not great. 
It can be okay. Let me see if I can't find the card Electro Dominance. Electro Dominance deals X damage to any target. You may cast a spell to convert mana costs X or less from your hand without paying. Yeah, so Relic and Grafter's case don't do anything. Uh, Blood Moon should probably be fine. Pillage, meh. Pillage is actually probably the worst card I have. Hmm. Maybe bring in a boil. Let's say I have artifacts, but I still have the cinder vines in. Ah, boil might not be good too because of electro dominance. I mean, I mean, counterbalance or what the hell a card's called. Uh, I don't even know. I guess we'll just have one pillage just in case there's some sort of crazed artifact I'm not thinking of. But Electro Dominance. Similar to Electric Avenue, right? We gonna rock on down Electric Avenue. And then we'll take it higher. Is that Eddie Grant? It's a good song. I what Eddie Grant's doing. I think he's living on some sort of Caribbean island since that song because he made so much money off it. He never had to work again. Just chilling on a beach every day with Snoop Dogg. I wonder when he wrote that song. He was like, there's so many, oh yeah, or oh no, oh no, oh no. I wonder how many times he decided to write that down. Like, oh no. Schoolhouse Rock, I don't know what that is. Uh, I got a mulligan this. This hand is pretty rough. This hand is pretty sweet. Uh, probably toss back a forest here. Greater Gargadon. I, I'm sure I did watch Schoolhouse Rock, but no, it was not a Schoolhouse Rock song. It's a 1985 reggae song uh, that has a really good intro. I really like the intro to the song. But yeah, I did watch Schoolhouse Rock. I do remember that song or that show. But I don't remember what we watched on. Is that the one where they said, I'm a Bill? Is that the same one? Blood Moon looks bad here. I just gotta race the shit out of him, I think. Yeah, just a bill sent on Capitol Ain't no bills being passed on Capitol Hill anymore. That's a lie. So the best I can do right now is four mana. Eventually, I gotta find another one. All right, I mean, I don't feel like attacking here, you know, I probably should. No, I can bolt. Just got to race this guy as fast as I can. A race. Race, race, race. Facts are lies now? Probably. <laughs> Alright, let's bolt player. That's another land. Let's get a forest. Let's blood moon, I guess. And then we swing here. A little bit scary. No, just in case he plays as foretold. What are these on? 
nine, eight. Right, just in case it gets as foretold, I want to destroy that immediately. So they are on eight and seven. Let's see what he gets. Serum Vision, Serum Vision, Flame Slash. So I would assume I'm going to get hit by a Flame Slash here. This will deal two more damage to him. Yep. So, Blood right off the top, please. And then he's going to Serum Visions here. Blood Raid Elf, Chandra would be awesome. He put two on top. That's not good. That is not good at all. All right. All right, there's Chandra. That's looking pretty good. All right, it was a land. They're at 11. They're at six, as foretold, okay. Let's try to restore balance here. It's crashing footfalls. He's at nine. So we need to go, these are on what? Six, so it'll be down to five. You can sacrifice them. Okay, I needed plus the Chandra, making double red. Fly over with Glorybringer. Let's use Cinder Vines. Use Cinder Vines to destroy the ass foretold. Double red. No exert. Does it have haste? It's down to three. Five. You can sacrifice all five, get this one. Does this have haste? I don't think it does, right? It would say haste, right? I don't know. Let me look them up. It doesn't say anything about haste. It's going to do ancestral vision and probably restore balance here. Well, he can't do Restore Balance for the creatures. He could do Flame Slash, though. He has more lands than me as well. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, God. Flame Slash. Yep, Flame Slash and Ancestral Vision. I can kill my Chandra. Again, I need Lightning Bolt. Where have they been? Well, there's one. I guess I did get to unload one on them. So many Flame Slashes. Questing Beast be a nice find, too, now. I was assuming he would swing both here. Oh, you have Gargadon? It does have haste. What the fuck? All right. Well, I lose. Exactly game. What the hell? Why doesn't it say haste on it? 
I'm so confused. I don't understand. What did I do wrong? Fuck did I do wrong? Just do it again. All right. Yes, I had to go first. This hand is pretty rough. I mean, it's not great, but I guess I'll keep it. Probably going to lose here. I don't understand. Why doesn't that card say haste at all anywhere on it? Like, does anyone know? All right, now I'm going to be a victim of my own blood moon here. Ancestral vision. <laughs> what is happening here? I mean, I am really asking for it. Yeah, I should have put up Bone Crusher Giant. I probably should have. All right, next turn, Clothis should turn on as a creature. I'm hoping. I hate playing against this Electro Dominance deck. Especially when the opponent's not doing anything. <laughs> like, would you like to bolt my Bone Crusher Giant? I mean, what are we doing? My own Blood Moon would destroy. I guess I do have a forest now, so that's good. Do not want to see as foretold right now. Wow, is he going to miss? What the fuck? Ooh. Hello. I think we play that, guys. <laughs> Come on, Blood Braid! Scavenging Ooh, sure, we'll play that too. All right, let's swing on in. That is 11 damage if this all connects. Come on. Opponent is double queued, right? Yeah, he's in the Phantom Sealed League. What the hell is that? Why should people play all these sealed while they're also playing modern? It's pretty annoying. Trying to go three and zero on the day, guys. Probably a crashing. You motherfucking asshole. Well, obviously I choose these. Wow. Fuck this guy. Probably just dead now. I mean, at least I have Season Pyromancer still left. 
And he's going to have Ancestral Vision. I mean, just the game's pretty much over, right? Another Ancestral Vision. Just, I keep getting good draws, though. Come on, Blood Braid! Cast as a creature. Swing in for three. He's going to draw five cards next turn. Probably not looking good. Well, he only has to play two red, and then he can play anything with zero mana. So then he picked Restore Balance. Restore Balance is zero mana. It's a ridiculous fucking bullshit, this foretell. Anger of the God, sure. Bolt opponent. Play Season Pyro. Clothes Arbor Elf. Well, I mean, I don't know about that. As soon as he gets one as soon as he gets one as foretold and the crashing footfalls, it's basically over. Right? I mean, he just needs as foretold, and I think the game's pretty much done. But yeah, now he can't now he can't do anything with the with the restore balance for lands. My deck is somewhat good against restore balance in terms of lands when I have was that a flame slash? Jesus Christ, that's some removal going on. Um, play Arbor Elf. And Clothis. And then we'll try to play Blood Moon. I need to get Clothis on the field, though, it's very important. Sure. As soon as he gets that as foretold, I don't know how I'm going to beat him. He's going to draw another four cards next turn. Land. At least it's a forest, because I'm going to do some serious damage here. Uh, let's get that. I guess Crashing Footfalls. Cause this is gonna hurt. Ah, I should have left Arbor Elf up. I should have swung with him. He has no blue mana right now. Yeah, I should have been able to swing there for one. That's a mistake. So he's going to draw five cards this turn. I know, four cards, not five. Jesus. <laughs> four cards. Draw uh, three off the Ancestral Vision and one off the draw phase. Draw four. Suspense Greater Gargaron. Or Gargadon. Alright. I'm glad I picked up that forest there right at the end. Oh, never mind. <laughs> There's a pillage. What the hell? Damn it. I can't play this Bloodbraid Elf. That's close, though. Uh... Yeah. I just need one more land and I'd be able to play Bloodbraid Elf. All right, he's down to seven. He can't find an island right now. Be really bad to get Electro Dominance too. Electro Dominance would be brutal here. 
surprised it hasn't happened yet. Seriously, I haven't seen this collected conjuring before. Seems pretty good. Yep, electro dominance there. What do you play? Another ancestral vision? Just need a land here for Blood Raid Elf. Another Greater Gargadon. That's a land. I have lands. Get that green mana. Come on, Blood Braid! Cinder Vines, yes. That's a good one. Because that's game. <laughs> Unless he's got a bolt. Ah! My God! Why do I have to work so hard to win these things? Oh my God! All right, folks, that's gonna do it for today. I had to cut the stream short, the video short, because I got stuff I gotta do, important stuff. Uh, taking down just jank, jank electro dominance. Wow. Good lord. All right, well, let's say let's take a look at my treasure chests here. Let's see what I can find off of those. How about we do that? I did get what, 5 of them. Let's take a look here. I got to write them down, of course. You guys have to forgive me. I got to write them. All right, JD. Thanks for stopping by. I'm I'm glad you didn't choke to death on that first match. I'm really glad. That would have been terrible if I would have found out about that. So, I think, thank goodness you're still alive, and I'll be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time for more Ponza action. So, all right, let's 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 get into these. Is that Blessed Reversal and Kindred Discovery? Okay. Kindred? I don't remember any of these cards. All right. Ooh, Dire Undercurrents, okay. I haven't seen that in a while. Oriok Champion, that's a nice one. Oriok and Spectral Force. I think I already have four copies of Oriok Champion. That was a good artwork of... Uh, what in the hell? A Curiosity Crafter and a Italia? That's a new card from Strixhaven with a big old owl on it. Yeah, Curiosity. I'll figure out how to spell that later, all right? Italia. I can't really read that. It's kind of small print. All right, guys. Last treasure chest. And I get a Jester Scepter from Ice Age. I think that's what it is. Ice Age. Alrighty, guys, that's going to do it uh, for today. Thank you all for watching. Uh, let's do some shout outs here. Shout outs to JDX the Kid, uh, Delatrius, uh, Pontes, Lion Rose, uh, Snake Eyes MTG slash JP, and the MTG bot and the Night bot for keeping me company. And a massive shout out to the Control Freak. With the raid of 31 people, thank you very much, uh, Control Freak. That is like the fourth time you've raided me. I can never raid you because you're on before me because you're two hours ahead of me. It's one of the problems being in the West is I can't really find anyone to raid. So, thank you guys very much. Hope you enjoyed today's content. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube, please consider subscribing. Give me this video a thumbs up. That means now, so far this week, we have gone... What have we done here? We've gone 2 3, then 5 0, oh, that's 7 and 3, and then 4 and 1, that's 11 and 4, and then 12 and 4 so far. So, we got to try and finish off this league tomorrow. Maybe I'm still on track to get the 5 0. Oh, I'm 1 0 oh in this league. Maybe I get the 5 0. Oh, we'll see. Um, but I will be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time for more Ponza action. 
I will not be getting off early then. And uh, quick mates, quick mats, quick matches. Yeah, we'll see. And, uh, you know, I will be back tomorrow so I can get this 5-0. So I'd like to remind everybody to also stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask, social distance if possible. And I will catch you guys tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time for more silly nonsense with the Ponza. I'm going to have to rewatch that first match against the green, white, whatever the hell that was. That was insane. That was 100% insane. Like, what the fuck was going on there? I don't know. I don't know how I won that first game, but I'll take it. That was awesome. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. Any time you guys got with me, it's amazing. All right, everybody. Peace.